it's it's been standing for quite a while so and there's a lot of people that's tried to take it it's just there was a specific time that i was blitz funner so i'll i'll keep running that wave till someone takes it off the whole story is actually i was when i got the com for that specific segment is i actually tried to get to create a new com that started at the bottom of quantum months before the twin towers segment to do full twin towers into um the full Blumendale, which has got obviously the Bloom Slum in, and then up to the car park, and to create that full segment then, which would have been, I personally think would have been the most prestigious segment, um, well, in the Western Cape. It's got steep climbing, very fast downhills, and so it's a good combination of skills, and you've got to be able to ride a bike up and down and on the flats as well. So, and then pretty much got back, downloaded it, and I was like, oh geez. So I managed to get the Twin Towers segment on that very same ride, full XC Bandit setup, Lycra included. And uh, well, obviously, and then the Bloom Slung. So I oh, actually got on the very same ride, with that one time that I went down there, I got the top to car park, which some Strava Dope took off me. I don't know how I managed to do that by like 15 seconds. The bike that I rode this morning, um, I just got that bike, so it's still a 110 on the rear, 120 up front, Fleximatic 6000 RS1. What is on there? Carbon, carbon Pago wheels, 32 mil wide, with Vittorio tires, um, bars at front and rear, 2.25. So it was, it was a bit more, it wasn't, definitely wasn't a full on XC setup, but that would be right. Um, that's how I raced Epic this year as well. Um, big bike or big boy. I wouldn't say I go out to go hunt the Strava. I have done it, definitely. Pretty much, Oak phoned me. Got no clue who this Oak is. He phones me, he's like, he gives me his full name, low down, ID number, everything almost, and says, listen, can you take my Brighton and go and take this specific segment? Not his Garmin or his GPS, but his Brighton. That was the best part about it. No, there was no money. They just asked me if I could do him a favor, and I said, well, I'll look into it, and I actually never managed. Well, I never even phoned Oak back, but Yes, I have had people phone me and ask me if I can take Stravas for them. Um, since they've worked on, on the trail, uh, they had a lot of erosion obviously during the long summer now, so they've, they've fixed it up really nicely. I think it's almost, well, it's better now than it was originally. Uh, two of the corners, they've used retaining system blocks, um, cement blocks, to obviously keep it in that form. So when you go early morning, like we did this morning, it was, it was moist um, and it is seriously slippery. So personally, if you're going to go and take that segment or attempt to do it, um, do a pre-run, check it out. But besides that, okay.